guys okay so in this video I want to talk a little bit about the Google Home Mini and some of the things that I didn't actually like about it so I have so far two that is currently in operation I bought an additional set because there was a, a sale and I wanted to do broadcasting with the Google Home Mini so I, I originally had one which I couldn't do broadcasting with just one so I decided I'd buy another two <coughs> this is actually a new one that I haven't been using as yet either um, so I installed the second one and um, actually for my mom and I thought you know hey this is gonna be easy I'm just gonna set this thing up it's gonna connect to the Wi-Fi and that's it it would be able to broadcast lo and behold of course after setting this guy up the second one um, I went to the original one that's in my living room and I said you know can you go ahead and broadcast and it says it can't find any other devices on my Wi-Fi network I mean up to now I mean it still doesn't do it so um, that was one of the challenges that I didn't like about the Google Home Mini I expected it to be able to not just be able to connect to a device on my Wi-Fi network but if my Wi-Fi network has multiple um, routers it should be able to go through within the IP range the IP range you know like 192.168.1.x and see if there's other Google devices there and be able to operate on it I'm not exactly sure why they did that maybe it's security maybe it's if you're sharing the Wi-Fi network with someone else or something like that perhaps okay so I could I could you know I could um, be sort of lenient in terms of the review regarding that part um, but then I realized that Google Home Mini is still um, not getting the updates that it needs. It, it, it's far from being AI. Um, in terms of, sometimes I would ask it something, like my mom asked it um, for whether there was airline availability, airlines, you know. Um, I asked it for a, a scripture, like a, like, a, like a religious scripture. It wasn't able to respond to that. Um, I asked it um, a few other questions. It got confused using a conjunction oh my goodness even that it was confused because it doesn't understand conjunctions when there's apis um, involved like i had a, a custom command that i created it wasn't able to do putting on the light switches and switching on the fan because the switching on the fan command was an external api so you couldn't use the and in between that i was like what i mean this is like far from futuristic now, at the same time, definitely it helps out because I like to switch on my lights using it. Um, sometimes I switch on the TV using it, um, fan, all these different things. Um, all these things require additional uh, devices as well. It's just not, it doesn't just come on on its own. It's not that simple. Um, one of the other things that I didn't like was you, know, you have to set up your... Uh, configuration on each one of your devices it doesn't actually put the, your additional Google Home that goes into the network doesn't automatically detect the settings that is on the original Google Home I don't know why to me that doesn't make any sense you have to go through back the speech recognition everything if you decide to set it up um, on auxiliary additional Google Home uh, mini devices that you add on to the network which I think Google did a very poor job. I'm, you know, I, I, I I'm sort of ups, a little bit upset over it, um, because I think that they could have done better, and uh, I hope that perhaps this video will actually reach someone in Google because they do have this feature where you could provide feedback. But I've provided so much feedback and nothing has changed. I didn't even hear of an update as yet. Um, what sucks too is that it can't even tell me my numbers on my phone so for example if I ask for my a phone number from my contact list it isn't able to actually um, tell me that number even though I am authenticated by voice on Google Home Mini which to me kind of sucks um, what else I could think of that was been charging so pretty much the majority of the majority of intelligence is not something that I can learn from it um, it just at this point in time takes commands 
and pretty much it um it does have games and so forth which is kind of interesting but it's also kind of annoying as well too certain t terms as well for example like if you're looking at um getting a recipe uh, it goes through the ingredients but then you have to keep saying the trigger word over each ingredient which kind of like is frustrating because can you imagine uh, having a recipe with like 12 ingredients and then you have to say the trigger word next ingredient trigger word next ingredient trigger words because it's actually two words you have to say either hey google or hi google right uh, i don't want to activate my own google here um what else did i like detection rate under noisy circumstances is terrible it's terrible I thought that they would have some sort of algorithm to do noise cancelling. If it does, it's really, really bad. Um, sometimes I would be watching something on YouTube, uh, which you can probably see here. It's gonna move. No, okay. Yeah, on YouTube, you can't, the TV is on the side, and um, this device would just simply not hear when I use a trigger word, which I totally understand. But at the same time, <laughs> it should have been able to detect that noise coming from the YouTube or uh, whatever channel, movie, whatever, and sort of, you know, cancel that down so it could hear me. What they did try to do was, if it does hear the trigger word, it would drop the volume on the TV, drop the volume on all the devices that are connected, like the Chromecast and so forth. But that is still not enough. Uh, they definitely have to do more. Um, for $50, this device is still pretty good. It's not 50 here. Um, it costs double that price because just to get this thing into the country, um, well, buying it and then getting into the country, you need to clear it, which costs a lot. So I paid nearly a little, I paid nearly $600 per Google Home, which is expensive. That's nearly a hundred US dollars for one Google Home, just to get it into the country. Um, <laughs> there was a last point which I can't remember now it's certainly a very important point but guys um, yeah so I mean don't expect this thing to change your world entirely um, it does a pretty it is so far it does a, a, a fair job if that much at doing smart home control um, <coughs> mostly control mostly control not you know not wisdom like um, asking it who Jesus is, nope. Um, that, that, it can't even answer that question. Um, so, guys, uh, hope this that this opened you up to some more, um, you know, a, a more open perspective on what Google Home Mini really does. Um, and with that being said, is it worth the fifty dollars? Yes, uh, but they definitely need to 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 do uh, more feature updates on making it smart and making it be able to communicate a little bit better and i think google can do that i just I, I really just don't understand why they are not doing that all right guys so i know that this will upset a lot of people um, in terms of google home mini fanatics um, i am a fanatic in the sense that i have three in my device three of three of these devices my whole sorry um but this is sort of the opinion right now 2018 around me uh june yeah and um hopefully they can get it fixed guys so please subscribe i know this is more talk than a how-to video or something like that but please subscribe to my channel please like this video because people need to know before they purchase this thing and waste money uh if if they want certain things and they're not going to get it or they would be wasting their money uh, if they don't want those certain things and they just want basic commands this will not be a waste of money to them so Please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Oh no, look at my hair. Hey Google, stay quiet. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. I don't know how to help with it. I just don't know how to help with it.